Recently, inpatient glycemic management guidelines have changed. Substantial observational data has linked hyperglycemia with adverse patient outcomes, such as increased length of stay, increased infection rates, and even increased mortality. Early studies suggested improved clinical outcomes with interventions targeting near optimal glycemic targets of around 80 to 110 milligrams per deciliter. More recent trials have shown inconsistent results with the suggestion of harm due to increased rates of hypoglycemia. The American Diabetes Association and the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists published a consensus statement on inpatient glycemic management in 2009. This statement takes into consideration the recent evidence and recommends more moderate glycemic targets of 140 to 180 milligrams per deciliter for critically ill patients and approximately 100 to 180 milligrams per deciliter in patients outside of critical care units. So the landmark trial that supported a paradigm shift to, towards more moderate glycemic targets was the NICE sugar study. This was the largest randomized controlled trial looking at intensive versus conventional insulin therapy in the hospital. It was international and included greater than 6,000 patients that were critically ill, either in medical or surgical ICUs, and they were randomized to intensive therapy with glycemic goals of around 80 to 110 milligrams per deciliter versus conventional control of less than 180 milligrams per deciliter. Unfortunately, in the intensive therapy group, there was an increased rate of hypoglycemia and more importantly, an increased risk for mortality. It is important to recognize that this trial compared good control with tight control. It didn't compare poor control with tight control. So good inpatient glycemic management remains important to reduce the risks associated with uncontrolled hyper and hypoglycemia. It's extremely difficult to safely prescribe insulin in the hospital. Patients' nutritional status and clinical status changes frequently, and insulin needs to be adjusted um, based on those factors. It also needs to be properly timed with respect to meals. This requires frequent glycemic monitoring that also is properly timed with respect to meals using blood glucose meters that are reliable and accurate. The complexity of inpatient diabetes management requires a multidisciplinary approach. At UPNC, we have a dedicated inpatient diabetes service, which is comprised of physicians and other care providers with expertise in managing diabetes in the hospital. A diabetes patient safety committee also meets on a regular basis to facilitate safe practices and to reduce the risk of errors. Managing diabetes in the hospital comes with many challenges. Recent guidelines have changed that recommend more moderate glycemic targets that can be achieved safely and effectively and improve outcomes over the long term.